Hello guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a very very basic Chrome 3 plugin. This is the GUI plugins which will allow you to do a lot more than just a script. So first of all you're gonna have to have Visual Studio 2012 installed. I'm pretty sure the Express version will work. I haven't used the Express version myself but I see no reason why it wouldn't work but this demonstration is going to be done with Visual Studio 2012 Ultimate I don't think it's going to differ that much with the Express version so you can see here I've got a default installation of Chrome I've only just installed this so it's all nice and fresh uh, make sure you've got the latest version you'll know if you've got the latest version because you'll have this folder here GUI plugins and this is where you place your plugin DLLs but we'll come to that later okay first up let's open Visual Studio and we're going to create a new project and what we want is a Visual C++ uh, sorry Visual C Sharp Windows class library I suppose you could use another language like Visual Basic or even C++ but most people tend to use C Sharp so we're going to use C Sharp and just give it a name doesn't really matter what the name is uh, I'm going to call this plugin demo and create it and then you're just going to get the basic layout here so in plugin demo you also want to create or add a new item and you're going to add a form yep and give this form a name I'm just going to call it um, plugin panel and this form is what's actually going to be put into the GUI itself when the plugin is loaded so it just needs to have uh, a few parameters set so you don't want any borders so get rid of the borders if I can find where that is la 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 here we go, form border style, none. That turns it into just a square. And you're going to need it a specific size. So go down to size here. And it needs to be 602 by 473. That's the size it needs to be. And we're just going to put some text on there just so I know it's worked. So just going to create a label on there. This is the demo plugin. Okay, just slap that in the middle of the form. There we go. Now, the form itself, when it's loaded, will be placed into this this is your plugin control panel and basically when you start or load a plugin it will appear as a tab in here and whatever that tab or the text that's in that tab will be whatever text you call this form so if you look in the properties you should find text in there somewhere there it is so basically call this what you want the plugin to say in the the tab that gets put into the actual bot GUI so I'm just gonna call it plugin demo there okay okay that's relatively simple now we need to just do a little a few bits and bobs so I'll go back to this now can you see here where we've got references okay right click there and then add reference okay and you'll get this go down to browse here and then click browse then what you want to do is find the Chrome 3 executable file wherever you've got it installed now on my system it is in my desktop in a folder called WASUB 
and that's the executable so just add that and then add it as a reference once you've done that you should be able to add the Chrome 3 namespace so put that in using right now this class only needs one method in it but the method needs to be specific so it's a public static void and it's got to be called go go capital letters it's got to be called that if it's called anything else this won't work okay and it takes GUI as a parameter now what this is GUI is a reference to the main bots form from that basically from that uh, object you can get to almost every function in Chrome so that's why it passes that in so what we need to do now is create a new form now we've got a form that we've created it's called plugin panel so create a new plugin panel Oops. and we're going to pass that the GUI parameter I just need to set that up in the in the code of the form so again in here using Chrome 3 yep and this takes a GUI parameter now I'm also going to make a public reference to within this class to the GUI and we call it GUI and then just set that variable to G the only reason I'm doing that is because obviously this plugin is going to be very very simple but at some point obviously this this plugin is going to have a lot of stuff in it it's going to be accessing the GUI quite a lot and you're going to have different methods and what have you so it's always better to have that reference to the GUI object just available to everything within this class okay so that's that set up so all we need to do now is register the plugin panel the plugins form onto the GUI and we're all ready to go now to do that we can access the GUI and you can see here in the help all the functions that are available inside the GUI now I will eventually get round to documenting all these but for now just uh, bear with me so GUI and we need to register plugin okay and we're registering the plugin as this and that's all there is to it that is a basic plugin it doesn't do anything but it's just to show you how to set up the, the basics of creating a plugin and getting it hooked up to the GUI from there you can add controls and all sorts of things to here you can add functions that communicate to the, the main GUI but uh, I've just created that just for a demonstration so I'm going to change this to release mode and build the plugin or build the DLL okay simple as that so if I go to the folder where this is in this is where I've compiled it and you can see plugin demo there so go in here we'll find a bin folder and a release and in there we should see our plugin demo DLL there it is so we copy that and we're going to place that into the GUI plugins folder which is there okay once you've done that you should be able to start the mod up and if you go into plugins you can see our plugin demo is here click that click start and there you can see it's appeared here and that's that that plugin is now registered with the DU, uh, with the GUI and can communicate and interact with it as is needed we just have a couple of extra options in here uh, you can refresh refresh just simply reloads the list in case you have added a plugin to there and you need to be able to access it and auto start 
when you click auto start that plugin will start automatically when Chrome starts so you could theoretically set up a plugin to start accounts instantly the second Chrome starts up and obviously just untick it to stop it from auto starting and that's it that's the basics of plugins I will be creating more videos which which explain uh, in more detail a bit more advanced how to do stuff how to interact with the GUI and I will be creating an, an API documentation explaining that a little bit more but for now you you really need to know the very basics how to get the the DLL compiled and how to include it into the GUI and get it running and that is the basics that you've just seen so stay tuned for the next video bye